So hello everyone, this is Purnima. Uh, so today I am uh, with the uh, Vice Dean of Ivana Jabakashvili Tbilisi State University uh, to know about you know the basic things and about to gain some input from uh, the Vice Director, Vice Dean herself. So because I have made many videos and I am sure you guys um, want uh, proper information. So I think she is the right person to discuss about the university. So ma'am, I want you to, to discuss or to tell us about the university over or in general about the ranking of uh, the Faculty of Medicine and how prestigious is the university is. Thank you very much for your interview and your interest to our university. And you know that Tbilisi State University is one of the first universities in Georgia and established more than 100 years ago. And it was the first university not only in Georgia, as well in the Caucasus region. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, uh, we have quite a long history of the teaching and, and the research as well. And uh, have more than 23,000 of the students. Uh, at the Faculty of Medicine, we have more than 2,000 students, students and out of them, more than 60 are foreign students from different countries. Mm -hmm. And year by year, the amount of applicants who want to study here increase, year by year increase. Mm -hmm. Our Faculty of Medicine, Medicine of Tbilisi State University, in the world university ranking take 327 place according to the teaching criteria. Okay. Uh, so just the university also cares about the high quality of medical education and this process is quite difficult and long uh, lasting process and too many components are involved there. Even the starting with the basic theoretical education as well as clinical and the practical work works as well. And um, uh, our student has this possibility to study in the like or has the practice in different laboratories. We have own clinical skills center, which is this equipped with the modern mannequins and models as well, and just our students every day has the possibility to work there and just develop all these clinical skills which is required for medical graduates. As well, we have this like um, agreement with more than 50 uh, hospitals in Tbilisi and so we will have our own hospital which also this our student has this to gain the practical skills there as well. Okay, so nice to know about it and we are really privileged that we are representing Ivana Javakashvili Tbilisi State University in India as well as in other parts of the world uh, because it carries such a good ranking in the Faculty of Medicine under 300 uh, ranking uh, because because just because of uh, the, the, the teaching faculties here in the medical faculty. Okay, so this is about the university. Now I would like you to throw some light on um, uh, like about what is the uniqueness about this university because in Georgia many universities like TSMU is there, Ilya is there, they are also giving such a wonderful platform or good opportunities to the international students to grow or to success in their medical career. So I, I want you to discuss like on what basis you are or, or what platform you are uh, giving to your students here at Tbilisi State University. Uh, okay, this Tbilisi State University has this like as I mentioned the quite long history of teaching and research as well. Uh, the faculty has not only we have the program of medicine, also dentistry, public health, and we also have doctoral program as well. Okay. And we have more than uh, 200 students who are studying on doctoral program, and this our undergraduate medical program student has this um, uh, possibility to join the research and mm -hmm. involved in the research activity as well. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, so we, our program of medicine was re-accredited a year ago uh, and uh, now we, this international experts were involved in, in this process and we obtained this like accreditation, successful accreditation with compliance 
full compliance to all standards. Mm -hmm. And uh, just uh, I think this all criteria, which does all this uh, learning outcomes or program structure or every part and the teaching, learning, assessment and so on, and quality issuance uh, of this education as well, is all this element was this in full compliance and this international uh, experts confirm this one. That's why we can, the Tbilisi State University can offer to the, uh, to our the students a very good environment of the teaching, learning, and also just uh, the, to the direction of the research activity as well. Even the very good clinical practice in different hospitals, and that's just I uh, I'm sure that it will be enough. Mm -hmm. and continue this way. Yeah, of course. I, I also feel that it's enough to study over here to become a successful doctor, of course. Okay, so apart from that, uh, what do you think, like, um, uh, like on what basis you are shortlisting candidates? Because there are numerous candidates we are having, uh, like every year you must be receiving many applications, but of course, what basis you are shortlisting student or what should be the, the, the shortlisting criteria? Because other universities, they are having dual intake per year, but TSU is only having a single intake. And yeah, we have yeah, the admission yeah. started from January. So they have an early admission. Also, the deadline is very early, even before the need results. So, like, what you have, what what you have? Um, some, can you just uh, throw some instincts on on it? Uh, okay, just uh, every year, just we have only one entrance, only once per year. It is in this uh, uh, in the fall semester, and we receive approximately 100, 120 seats. Mm -hmm. for the program of medicine and approximately uh, 30 to 40 places for the dentistry program. Also, we have this dentistry program. Out of 120 seats? You no, have, no, okay. no. This it is, is 120 okay. is for the program of medicine and right. also just we have newly accredited program in English for dentistry as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, just uh, admission criteria, just uh, what is it? Just we have the interview with our students and they should confirm also not only the knowledge of the English language, also knowledge of the chemistry and biology as well. Okay. So these questions are directed to, um, to this direction as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, that's why, as I mentioned, that the amount of the applicant increased. So. It is quite uh, like strict criteria yeah. to get and start yeah. our studies. Even we think that the criteria should be strict enough or should be there so that we can at least uh, the quality student should come to the university. Of course, like uh, so, yeah, you cannot uh, apply here directly or without having any interviews. You should be prepared thoroughly on your basic subjects, either in uh, like in physics, chemistry, and biology, to get your admission in Tbilisi State University. Okay, yeah, so apart from the admission thing, apart from the um, university, I would also like you to discuss about, uh, you know, the hospitals or the clinicals. How yeah, is it managed okay. in the university? Uh, you know, that the, our program of medicine is just integrated program. What mm -hmm. does this mean? That integrated program means that we teach uh, them from very beginning, some practical skills and clinical to develop all these clinical sk uh, skills, and uh, from this all, already uh, year two, they have possibility to go to the clinics and uh, see the real clinical environment as well. Mm, uh, also, just all these uh, laboratories that it is the chemistry, microbiology, and so on in this direction. They have also the possibility to work up there with microscopes and so on. And very important that in, in this integrated program, we are, we are teach, uh, teaching them the separately clinical skills for this allocated 10 credits. And then from the year one till year five, they're uh, studying there is some procedures how to make this like an injection or this intravenous catheter insertion and so on all these things and after they go to the hospital maybe to perform all these procedures as well so our clinical skill center is very well equip equipped and um, no, it's important that it is possible to achieve all these learning outcomes 
uh, what our what our med medical program really has. And after this, in the clinic, they go there with the small groups, they help some night shift and the practicals and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, and, um, you know, just the duration of our program is uh, six years, okay. and fifth and sixth years total, it is the comprised clinical practice, practice years. Also, there are some theoretical courses as well, but clinical practice is no less than 12 months, and it is possible if it is required for in here to give this some special special certificate for uh, uh, this, that it is quite enough, the, what is our credit Yes, course. because in India, Medical Council of India has specifically mentioned in the gadget dated 18 November 2021, that all Indian students who are going abroad to study medical mm -hmm. program, they must have a separate one year of internship. So for that, we just, yeah. our students are requiring those certificates that they have done a mandatory 12 months of internship in their college. Yeah, yeah well, of course, because this last two years, with this, uh, you know, just uh, each year consists of uh, uh, like to no less than 10 months, and totally this is 20 months. What we have, they know, clinical practice, maybe additionally some theoretical courses as well, but mainly this is the clinical internship. Okay, yeah, wonderful. So, I think uh, this is the best thing which now students, after considering those NMC things, uh, they should know about the university. And I'm sure uh, students now would have as much as information. And thank you so much for the insights. And I'm really, really thankful for your time. And uh, thank you for the video, for, the, for your interview. Thank you so much. Thank you.